Hello, this is Kayla, and today I'm going to talk about the endangered species Equus grevy and Lycaon pictus. Here we have Equus grevy, also known as grevy zebra. Grevy zebra has been endangered since around the late 1970s. If we look in the bottom left, we see that in 1970, the population was at about 14,000, and in the year 2007, it declined significantly to around only 2,000 left. And even today, it's actually less than 2,000. So what makes these guys different from other zebras? Here in the cliff, we see some grevy zebras passing in front of what are called plains zebra, P-L-A-I-N-S. Now, these guys, their ears are a little bit bigger and rounder, their stripes are thinner, and they're actually larger. In fact, they're the largest of the equid family. Here we have Lycaon pictus, also known as the African wild dog. These guys have been endangered since about 1990. And what's cool about them is that each one has markings unique to that dog. You're never going to see two dogs with the same markings. Um, these guys are also known by the name Cape Hunting Dog and Painted Hunting Dog. What's unique about these guys also is their pack structure. So only the alpha female and alpha male are the ones who will actually breed and reproduce. Now, all the other females in the pack are actually sisters to the alpha female, and they're going to help that alpha female raise her pups. And with each litter, you're going to get about 10 pups, which is the largest litter size of all the canids. So why are these species endangered? First off, there's been a lot of destruction of land where they live. In fact, there's been about a 72% reduction in forest cover in the Kenya region alone. Um, with that, wildlife is, they're losing their habitat. So they've had to share their resources with things like livestock um, and domestic animals. And both of these animals reside in the grasslands and savannas of Africa. So... Going back to the land destruction, um, with the land being destroyed, these animals, uh, the wild dog and the grevy zebra, they wander. So they're having to go even further to find food and water, which means they're interacting more with domestic animals and livestock animals. So because of this interaction with domestic animals, the wild dog has also become more susceptible to domestic dog diseases, such as parvo, distemper, and rabies. Um, drought has also contributed to, obviously, loss of habitat, as well as disease, in fact. Um, anthrax virus actually lives in the soil and the spores become activated during times of drought so you'll have to see an anthrax break, uh, outbreak either during a drought or shortly right thereafter and it's also been observed that the deforestation that's occurred has actually contributed to how severe droughts have been they've been more severe without that forest cover there so kind of coming to round things out, we can pretty much say that humans are at the root of why these two animals are endangered. Basically, the human population increases, therefore decreasing the wildlife um, habitat. We're kind of coming in and boxing them into a short area when they really need a lot more area to roam and look for resources. You also have that competition of resources between water, grazing land, um, and other food sources for both the dog and the zebra. And 
basically we're bringing in new diseases that are um, affecting the dogs in particular. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed learning about Grevy's Zebra and the African Wild Dog.